Hello, and happy Friday. Thanks for joining. This is Fluke Fridays, episode number 39. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining the channel. This is Fluke Fun, and what we're going to go over today is three unknown accessories that not too many people know about, or you might not know about, that I think can really impact your workflow if it's a um, if it's something that you need for for your job. So some accessories that you might not be aware of from Fluke that could really change your life. So as we jump into it, we've got the SV225, the MP1 um, magnet probes, and then the L210, the uh, probe extenders, and with the light. So. Um, this is our most technical one, so I'll save it for last, but let's start with the first two. I, I do hear from time to time people saying, hey, I really want to get in to, uh, to make a measurement with my test leads, and I just can't reach far enough. So what is good for that? That's, that's these probe extensions. So I'll open it up, and we'll kind of see how they work. So not every test lead from Fluke is is this going to work with because there's some um, that don't these are you got to have the four millimeter banana jack plug so they would stack into each other obviously these you wouldn't stack them into each other like this but um, I'll show you okay so you have test leads like this where the the probe is permanently fixed into it and obviously these will not work with these uh, they're not gonna lock in but then you've got other test leads, like the kinds that come with the uh, TLK225 master kit, where all of these different accessories can, can plug in to a set of test leads, okay? So in this case, you could take, you know, your red test lead, the end of the lead, put this into it, extend, and then, have your test probe and the end of that, and now you have a super long test probe. And if push came to shove and you had to have it longer than this, you could buy multiple of these extenders and extend further and still be safe. Um, so you do want it fully seated. You saw there before it wasn't fully seated. So you want it fully seated, um, but they're gonna stack into each other. I don't have multiple sits, but you could see how with the black one, you could put this in and you could have you know multiple and it's honestly I thought it would be kind of like flexy wobbly but it's pretty stiff you could definitely um, you could definitely make a measurement from from a good long distance if you needed to so this is kind of what it would look like if you did multiple stacked um, you could do that and you know it doesn't have as much play as I would have thought uh, but the way most people use it, just like this, give you a, the ability to reach further into a cabinet and make your connections. And obviously these come with a flashlight on one of the probes. Um, so you have that as an option as well. Okay. So you turn it on, clicking down here, off by clicking there. Okay, so those are the probe extenders. The L210s. Next is these magnet uh, magnet probes, and these are great if you're getting into a if you're getting into terminal blocks and you just need to make quick connections. These are really really quite amazing. They've got strong little magnets here on the end that will connect to steel um, steel screws. So you could go into a terminal block, comes in and then it seeds in and locks in for you. Uh, I'll show you what this would look like on a panel, but obviously it's not used for a panel in this situation. Um, so you can do it like this. This is not gonna be strong enough to hold up, but if it's going into a terminal block, it would hold against there because the plastic will, will support it enough that it could support the weight of it. So that's a quick way to make 
connections with your if you're looking at terminal blocks and the magnet probes can really help you move if you're trying to um, touch multiple places in terminal blocks and take readings. Okay, next, last but not least, the SV225. This is a straight voltage eliminator. So what this is, is you plug this straight into a um, your multimeter. So I'm not gonna open this up right now, but you know, you had your multimeter, you just plug red into red, black into black, just like that, and then your test leads go into here. And this will eliminate stray voltage. So if you have a capacitive load because two lines are running next to each other, this will eliminate that instead of it looking like maybe 20 or 40, 42 volts, something like that, it'll eliminate that. The other thing you can do with this, which is not what it was originally designed for, but it will work, is you can put this into your multimeter and you can touch to a capacitor and you can discharge that capacitor safely and just watch your multimeter until the voltage goes down to nothing and then you know your, your capacitor is safely discharged. So the SV225, uh, very, very cool and versatile tool. The other thing is um, if you don't have this but you have a multimeter with the low Z mo mode, it does very similar if not the exact same functionality. So these are the three, uh, three accessories that I thought, you know what? These aren't talked about that often and maybe this is something that would help you guys. If you have a favorite fluke accessory that you don't think is um, gets enough recognition, put it in the comments below. If you think I should do a video on it, I'm happy to do that. Also, hit subscribe. Again, I'm trying to get to a thousand as soon as possible. I was hoping to do it this month. I'm not sure that that's gonna happen unless a lot of you guys hit subscribe on this video. But let me know how I can help. Any comments and questions below and give us a thumbs up. Thanks and have a great one.